Hey, what's up? It's Sam Frost here from Easy PPC Tutorials, the YouTube channel where I show you for free how to set up, maintain, and optimize your own PPC marketing campaigns. Today's video is going to be super, super quick, but something that I know a few people get stumped on, and that is how you actually access a proper invoice in Google Ads. So it's super easy to go through uh, and look back at, at a date range and see how much your ad account spent. All you've got to do is just go set your date range, scroll down to the bottom, and uh, Bob's your uncle, you'll see how much you spent in that date range. But what can actually happen is that doesn't always align with what you build, and that's not an actual invoice. So how do you access a proper invoice that you might need for tax or accounting purposes, uh, or, or you know to keep your employer happy? How, whatever you need it for, how do you actually go about accessing one? So the way you do this is through tools and settings. You click here on tools and settings, you click on billing documents, and you wait for this next screen to load up. And then what you're able to do is see your proper view from where you will go and access both a transaction view of your current month's activity, so that's this piece here, and also then invoices for previous months been. So if I scroll down, the last period that has an invoice, uh, which was created on the 1st of August 2019, is for July 1st to July 31st, 2019. So this New Zealand tax invoice, this is the piece I would download. I just click on the uh, number here, it downloads to my computer, and now I've got an invoice that I can submit to the uh, accountant, put in my bookkeeping system, send to the tax man if he's auditing me, whatever's happening, I'm able to see uh, a proper invoice that's got all the details that's needed. You can also access a statement as well, uh, but depending on where you you, you, you live and, and how you work, you might have slightly different options here too. Uh, you know, I use the tax invoice because uh, Google applies GST uh, or VAT as Ameri uh, English people call it, UK people call it. Uh, that gets applied to uh, my account here in New Zealand. Uh, so I have to have a tax invoice to be able to claim that cost back. But yeah, depending on where you live, what you see here is different. But basically, this is where you come to access your invoices. So yeah, hopefully you found that uh, helpful. Uh, if you get stuck, please let me know. I'd be glad to help you out. Uh, otherwise, uh, please like this video and subscribe and I'll see you next time.